So I'm here in Dallas, and I'm at the Dallas market. Well, I will be at the Dallas market. I just got to my hotel room, and I'm going to be going over to the market to talk to a couple of manufacturers, um, one of which I'm seeing this afternoon. I'm going to try to anyway. And we're pretty excited about their knives that they've, they've come out with a whole new line. We've carried this brand before. It's, it's, I might as well tell you, it's Kangzan knives. Uh, and yes, they're out of China, but they make some really nice knives. We may want to get some for you because they've got some nice stuff. I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to take you with me. So let's go to market and see what they got over there. Oh, cue the intro. Hey, so I'm right here at the show. This is the market down here in Dallas at the World Trade Center. And I'm actually here with Benjamin. Hi, my name is Benjamin. I'm with Kane Shan Cutlery. Uh, today uh, I met with Richard. Uh, we went over our knife lines and uh, he decided to purchase a few, which you guys will be seeing at his store very, very soon. Oh, we got some good stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna show you a couple, a few things. So we have, if you want to point the camera down here, we have the J series. Uh, this is VG10 steel comes with a magnetic sheath. Uh, this is 67 layers. This is uh, African blackwood handle here. Very, very nice. Uh, comes in this really nice wooden box. This is the starter set. So you'll be seeing this uh, along with other single uh, knives from this series. VG10 67 layer steel. Next we have, uh, this is our top knife here. This is a Thomas Keller Signature Collection. And I'm gonna take this out of the box here. Uh, comes in an American walnut wood box. On the top you see the etched outline of the knife. You have Thomas Keller Signature burned on the corner here. It opens and closes with magnets. As you can see, makes for a great gift idea. Um, just the packaging itself. And the steel we're using on this is Swedish powdered steel, RWL 34 from Demasteel. So this lands at 61 on the Rockwell hardness scale. Uh, this Swedish powder steel has a lot of great benefits that I'm sure Richard and his staff will let you guys know all about. So that's the Thomas Keller signature collection. So we have the S1 series. This one's made of German steel. Um, these very nice knives, as you can see the handles. Uh, fully forged, as all our knives are, handcrafted. Um, these are great knives, very affordable. Um, this is our six-piece set. Comes with the bread knife, the chef knife I just showed. We have a Santuco here. We have a utility and the paring knife. So, you know, that's a little bit of what Richard is going to be having in his store from Kang Shan Cutlery. Um, you know, we hope you guys like our knives. If you ever have questions, you can always reach out to, you know, Richard's staff and Richard or even myself, um, you know, Benjamin with Kang Shun. Any Richard's customers have questions, they're welcome to, you know, contact me. I'm more than happy to answer any, any, any questions you guys might have. Guys, that, that RWL34 is an amazing steel. Incredible edge retention. It's powdered metallurgy. Uh, it's U.S. steel. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing stuff. So um, I'm really, really excited about getting this line uh, in our store. Uh, pricing is going to be very nice. Um, I tell you, you, you got to come down and check it out. And we're going to have one out so you can use it and cut with it. Thank you, yeah. Benjamin. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for having me on your channel. Benjamin's a great guy. Uh, we're going to go visit some other stores too. So uh, stick around. We still have a lot coming up here in Dallas, Texas. Hey guys, I'm here at the Kikuichi table. Let me tell you something, some amazing stuff. They, they're doing some just super fine work. If you like Japanese knives, especially the really high-end carbon steel, you know, uh, a Japanese uh, cutler sitting on the sand floor, you know, slowly making a hand making a knife, Kikuichi is definitely it. These are some beautiful knives, but you know, I'm not the one to talk about these knives. Here I've got Harry. Harry, 
Nice, nice to see you. Harry is the expert when it comes to this. He's the guy who gets these into this country so we can buy them. So I'm going to let Harry talk about his knives. And uh, you got to come by the store and see some of these things. Just the finest knives. They're amazing. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Harry here and just hold the camera. So for those of you that don't know, Kikuichi is the oldest knife company in the world. Family history goes back to sword making in the 13th century. That is how old this company is. It's how long we've been in business. The family ancestors started out making swords. Then in the 1860s, when the then emperor of Japan outlawed the samurai, no more market for swords, so they switched to making shorter swords for the kitchen, uh, like this knife. This knife is a hand-forged Damascus blade, meaning that the Damascus layers were made by hand by a craftsman who took pieces of steel and layered them together and heated them and pounded them out into this shape. It is a blue carbon steel blade. You can see on the back here, it's a single piece that makes up the back of that blade. It is water quenched, and then it has an ebony handle with actual sterling silver collar pieces in it, and it is exquisite. This is a takohiki. Uh, tako is octopus in Japanese. This would have been a knife that would be traditionally for cutting octopus, but many, many professional sushi chefs really like this shape for cutting their sushi and cutting their sashimi. So we really do specialize in hand making knives. Each piece of the process is done by a different expert in that process. So a knife like this, which is a nine layered Damascus, with a core blue two steel. This one is more of a double bevel knife. The first one I showed you is single bevel, which is very traditionally Japanese. This one has a handle that is made of ho wood, which is a Japanese magnolia wood. And then the collar on it is made from water buffalo horn. That is the traditional materials. You'll notice that this knife has an octagonal handle. In traditional Japanese knife making, an octagonal handle represents a knife that is of a very, very high quality. If that handle is oval or D-shaped, still an excellent knife, but not the highest quality. Octagonal handles traditionally were reserved for the highest quality blades. Uh, so this knife is a nine and a half inch, uh, more of a, what we call a Gyuto, which is more of like a Western style chef's knife, um, but made in Japanese materials by Japanese craftsmen. And these knives will be coming soon to Bear Claw. This knife is our Kudo Uchi series. Kudo means black in Japanese. So this is a black oxidized finish on a carbon steel knife. And that actually protects it, uh, helps keep it from rusting. That is part of the process when the knife is tempered. It's dipped in mud and then reheated in the forge. And that is the surface it leaves. Most of the time, the knife makers then grind that off. The knife I previously showed you would have looked like that after tempering. And then that knife was ground down and polished after the fact. In this case, we take those knives, we leave that sort of more rough, uh, black oxidized finish on there, and then finish the blade from there and sharpen it from there. That knife has a walnut handle, also with water buffalo collar. And then I'm gonna reach for my favorite knife that we have on the table here today. This is a white carbon steel honyaki blade. Honyaki means that this blade was forged from a single piece of steel, and that is the hardest way to make knives, in fact. By layering the steel, by using multiple types of steel together, it in fact is easier to shape the blades. When you're doing honyaki, only the top master craftsmen are able to do that. Uh, this knife also has the way that it was forged and the way that it was made. There is an image of Mount Fuji with the full moon in the blade. And this knife is just absolutely spectacular, the fit and finish. If you look at the top of the blade, you can see that the way that that blade is made, the way that it tapers towards the tip, and that is also a double bevel or more Western style of blade. So, you know, you don't have to be used to using a traditional single bevel knife, which does take a slightly different uh, use, slightly different technique in the kitchen uh, to use this beautiful piece in your home. It is always, always recommended to see these things in person and to hold them and feel them because I can tell you about them, but there is nothing like holding it in your hand and knowing that this knife was made by individual master craftsmen who are really the best in the world. One craftsman only does the forging. That is all he does. Another craftsman, all they do is make the handles. There's a video on our site and will be on the Bear Claw site as well where you can see a lot of that process. And then there is a sharpening craftsman. The only thing that he does is sharpen blades. He does not forge, he does not make handles. And then that knife is put together and final assembly is done by Mr. Akamasa Oe, uh, who is our master knife craftsman. And only then does that knife get wrapped and put into a box. So any of our 
Kikuichi knives with that are hand engraved are being touched by Mr. Oe before you open that box as an end consumer. Well, I've really enjoyed visiting with Harry. Harry, Richard, great thank to see you very much. And I can't wait to come to Bear Claw and we'll do an event together. So I'll be there and I bring, that. bring more and more special knives down and I can, you know, we can educate customers and really, you know, share the story of this incredible brand. You bet. Follow us on Facebook, on our, on our Bear Claw Facebook. We'll announce when we're going to bring Harry out to the store um, and when we have other activities as well. Um, it's just some amazing stuff. You really have to hold one of these knives to really understand the quality and what goes into making them. But all of this we'll have in the store very shortly. Uh, we already carry some Kikuichi. We're going to expand that and carry more. So go to bcknife.com if you'd like to see them online. Or come on into the store. You know where it is up on there on uh, Midkiff in Midland, uh, right next to Hobby Lobby Market Street. And uh, see if maybe one of these will, will fit your needs. Anyways, from Dallas Market Center, I'm Richard. Until next time. Had dinner last night with Harry from uh, Kikuichi. It was an amazing dinner, but more importantly, we were able to get a lot of work done and determine how we're going to carry Kikuichi in the next year. You know, there's so much that these reps do for us. It's hard when you're carrying thousands of SKUs to make sure that nothing drops through the cracks and that we have in the store what you need to buy when you need to buy it. Makes it tough. Um, and these reps help, help us do that. Also, right now there's a real, real big crunch um, where uh, product is concerned. The uh, supply chain has been so interrupted and so damaged that just getting anything in it has become very, very difficult. And my understanding, especially from talking to a lot of industry people at this show, is that it's going to get worse and worse this year until we hit Christmas and people are scared to death of not having enough inventory for Christmas. We need product to sell. So these guys are gonna help us make sure that we have the product we need for you when you need it. But Harry with Kikuichi, thank you Harry. Man, you, you do a great job for us and we're gonna do some really exciting things this year with, with Harry. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. And then of course, Benjamin from Kingzan. You know, this is an up-and-coming, amazing knife company. We had them in the store at one time and then dropped them because they were having problems just producing enough. They became too popular. And we're bringing them back because they're a great knife. And now they produce that knife in RWL34, which you know I really like. And they've got that whole line. It's beautiful, exceptional steel, powdered steel. So we're looking forward to, to getting that in the store and seeing how you like that. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Benjamin, for uh, having dinner, discussing business, and developing that relationship, which I know will last for years and years. Like I said, Harry, I've known for a long time, but Benjamin, he's, in, he's new, and, uh, and I'm really excited about some of the things we could do together. So thank you, guys, and thank you for watching this. Do me a favor and go down into the subscribe and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, select all, and then give us a thumbs up. It helps us with the uh, YouTube algorithm. We, we get recommended more, and that's the life of the whole YouTube thing. I, I need your help doing that. Also, make a comment. If you like what we're doing, you hate what we're doing, whatever, make a comment. If you have recommendations on future videos, let me know. Let me know. All my best ideas have always come from my customers. So thank you for bearing with me through this vlog and uh, watching till the end. And uh, yeah, until next time. We'll see you then. This thing is big. I do mean big. I've seen a couple of people in here and and uh, I tell you, there's a lot of walking. But we're here trying to find more product, more merchandise to bring to Midland. So uh, stick around, got more coming up.